Hello and welcome to Improve Your Voice, aka Vocabilities.com. My name is Darren McStay and today I'm going to be kind of reviewing a voice of one of my subscribers, uh, Mr. Shobhid from India, who is a yoga uh, practitioner and a course provider. Now, I chose to use Shobhid's voice because he sent me a video, a few videos actually, of him speaking the other day. And I believe he's got a very good voice. He's very resonant, he's got a very rich sound, and he's very articulate, he's very well considered, he's comfortable in his own skin, and he has so much going for him. But the one thing that he mentioned that he would like to get is to is finding more clarity. And because he's from India, and I know that many of you that leave comments on my channel are also from India, it made sense that I'd use him because A, he's a good example of a voice that is relaxed and resonant, but also because I can probably give him some notes on clearing up his articulation to make his own accent sound clearer to the English ear, as opposed to trying to change his accent completely, which I, which I don't want to do. However, if you are someone who lives in India, and I know there's a big stig stigma about trying to sound more British and, and you know, being feeling that you're going to go further in life and, and in your country by sounding more English and like that that is a representation of people in the upper classes, then uh, that's up to you. But what I can do is give you a few indicators and uh, a few tips on what you can do in order to make your accent sound not necessarily more English but clearer to the English ear. So thank you Shobhid for sending that in. I'm going to show a little bit of the video now. If you find yourself waking up this way, and constantly yawning as the day progresses, then possibly you're not sleeping well at night. You might be sleeping the recommended duration of six to eight hours, but the quality of sleep is more important than the quantity of sleep. And I would like to invite you to a webinar on sleep where we'll talk about how science looks at sleep, how um, yoga and Ayurveda approach sleep, our lifestyle factors which affect the quality of sleep, and most importantly, I will offer tools and practices which you can cultivate as habits so that you can sleep better at night. Now, without going into a complete review on Shobit's voice, I've already said that like, there's so many great elements he has. Relaxation, resonance, he's got a deep, clear voice. But what it is that stands out to me, and I hear a lot in Indian accents and Indian voices, is it sounds like there's something in your mouth. It sounds like you aren't creating enough space inside the mouth in order to allow um, sound to leave. Uh, and I believe what's doing that is the shape you're holding of your mouth and the way you use your tongue. Um, also, some letters um, are articulated slightly differently. For example, when you should be saying V, sometimes it comes out like a W. And when you say W, it comes out like a V. Uh, also, sometimes THs and T sounds like sound like Ds. And Ds, because of that, can be confused and sometimes sound like you're saying a TH or a T. So that's what we're going to look at. The first one is this idea of air placement and this space in our mouths. And I'm going to use this phrase now because this to me sounds like it, it can carries all the fr all the sounds that would really be good at clearing up by this one phrase and it's I need water for my mouth. So I'm going to say it in the way that I believe Shobhid is currently pronouncing his words. I need water for my mouth. I need water for my mouth. So Water, water. You see, it should be water, water. It's a much more open sound because my tongue is getting out of the way. It's, it, the tip is pointing down. And what happens is with the sounds that I hear in a lot of Indian accents, and especially with Shobit, he's very delicate when he does it, but there, it, it is still there. And it's water, 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 water. I need water for my mouth. Now I've overemphasize this on purpose because I want to uh, people to really hear the differences. Um, again, a shop head, you know, is, is already very articulate, but some of these sounds do sound like there is water in your mouth. I have water in my mouth. So this idea of water, water. We'll look at the tongue first and the T sound, water, tur. It sounds like a D, water, water. So in order to clear this up, we need to recognize that our tongue is doing something, water. Dur, or dur. We are curling the tip of our tongue up and it's touching the top of our mouth and it's dur, dur. We're saying dur, dur. What we want to do is bring the tip of that tongue down, or tur, or tur, tur. So instead of keeping it there, we move it out of the way. The tur, 
tur, it opens and releases. So rather than it going dur, war tur, it goes war tur, war tur in the mouth. Okay, so from water to water. If you can't understand what I'm doing with my hand here, try to just listen to it, listen to that sound. Say dur, and then say tur, 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 water, water, water. And when you open that tongue and allow the tip to open up and allow the sound to move, it does sound much clearer and brighter and it just opens it up and it uh, it's you're not necessarily losing your accent but you are just making it more audible and clearer and so then you can make distinct differences between a T and a D. That is my first piece of advice for you shop it and for anyone else who wants to kind of clear up their articulation in the Indian accent. The next one is this V and W. So water is quite a popular way of saying it when it should be water. So let's look at the car brand Volkswagen. This is perfect because it's got a V and a W in it. Volks, Volkswagen. From the sounds I hear you making, I believe you might say Volkswagen and get it the opposite way around. So we have to kind of differentiate between the W's and the V's. So again, back to water, it's not water, 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 it's water. War, war. We want to put both our lips into it because by using just the bottom lip, v, 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 the V sound is the same as an F. F, 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 v, v, water. We want to say W, so it's w, w, water, water, water. That's putting the two together. It just opens it up and it allows air to escape. And here's the thing it does sound like you've got water in your mouth, and it does sound like you're keeping it closed and not allowing things to open and it's mostly due to your tongue but also sometimes just opening your mouth and allowing your lips to do some of the work. Of course doing articulation exercises are going to brighten up these muscles but it's pointless to do those unless you're actually practicing getting the sounds right. So T's, TH's becoming D's is something that needs to be looked at and maybe just release and, uh, and create that opening of the tongue to allow the air to escape. And also the W and the V sounds it should be really kind of considered and thought about a bit more. So my homework for you Shobid and anyone else who wants to join in for the next two months, or actually probably just for a month, I, I, I think you probably get there quicker with this, is to focus on those sounds. Write down uh, a script may or t pick something up that has these sounds in it and record yourself. Record yourself saying a specific script, whether it's what you sent to me already or something else. And I want you to analyze yourself because this is the way you're going to find change. And these are the main sounds I can hear that are making things sound a bit closed and mm, the articulation sound just a bit kind of stuck. So take these notes and work on them. Record yourself every day. Everyone that's interested in doing this, listen back. And if you really can't hear how it's supposed to be done, just remember that the, by opening the tongue, da, open, da, and not keeping it up in your mouth, and then by using both of your lips, and not just the bottom one, vuh, vuh, you'll start to open up and allow more air to escape. And that air flow is what's going to make it sound less like you have water in your mouth and more like you're speaking uh, clearer in the English accent. And I'm not going to give you any more than that for today because I want you to go away and develop that. And once Shop It comes back to me with another video after practicing this for a few weeks, I want to hear the difference and I want to hear how you found this exercise. And I'm going to put another video out there just to see what the difference is. And then, and then from there, we can move on if there's need for any extra work. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Everyone can take this challenge. Everyone that's got an Indian accent who wants to open it, sound more clearer, do this as well. And you can write in, let me know how it goes. Record yourself, listen to the sounds, watch this video back if you need to. Go ahead and do some of my articulation exercises just to keep those muscles like kind of excited and, and working and bright and tight. And then see how it goes. And maybe watch the next video on Shobit and see where he is and where you are and how can we move forward together on that. So thank you for watching and thank you for sending that in Shobit. But anyone else got a comment who would like to um, talk about this idea and the idea of changing your accent or making it clearer, then just ask the question below. I don't know everything and I'm sure there are tips and tricks that other people have out there that have used before that they can share with others. So do it. Leave a comment below and, and you know, share yourself. Say hi and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Darren McStay. This is Improve Your Voice aka Vocabilities.com and until the next time, look after your voice.